afternoon everybody uh, this week's video will be on John Frost so Major General John Dutton Frost CB DSO MC DL uh, there is awards was born on the 31st of December 1912 and died 21st of May 1993 John Frost was uh, John Frost, winner of Military Cross, Distinguished Service Order with a Bar, that means he won it twice, and a companion of the Order of the Bath. So as you can see, he was a very accomplished soldier in his time. Made famous by the film A Bridge Too Far, in which he was expertly portrayed by Anthony Hopkins, as well as being a uh, technical advisor for the film. John Frost seemed to be the right guy in the right place during his time in the Airborne. He was the commander of the ground forces in Operation Biting, an operation to dismantle and steal a German radar set up in Normandy, France. The operation was a huge success with minimum casualties and the capture of the radar equipment and even a German radar engineer. For this action he was awarded his, uh, was awarded his MC. He was then stationed in Tunisia, where his biggest action was tasked to capture an airfield. The airfield turned out to be abandoned, and to add stress to the situation, the armoured column that was meant to meet them and help their exfil never arrived. Frost had no option other than to move 50 miles through enemy lines in the whole, uh, the whole time being under enemy fire. They managed to get back to British lines, but at great cost of 16 officers and roughly 250 men. For this action, he was awarded his first DSO, Distinguished Service Order. In 1943, he was stationed in Italy and fought there until being redeployed back to Britain for the planning of Market Garden. Frost was chosen to be the spearhead of the capture of the Arnhem Bridge during Market Garden. Frost was in command of two para, with 750 men under his command. The plan was for Frost to capture the bridge and then be reinforced uh, by the rest of the British Airborne and hold the bridge for two days until relieved by 30 Corps. Frost captured the bridge and fought gallantly with the men of two para, but were completely surrounded by an SS Panzer Corps that wasn't meant to be there in Holland according to the intel given to him. The Paris held on for four days, his reinforcements stuck in and around Oosterbeek and cut off from getting to him. With no ammunition left and only a hundred fighting men under his command left, they surrendered. Frost was wounded by shrapnel to his feet and was captured. For his leadership during Arnhem he was awarded a bar to his DSO. He retired from the army in 1968 and wrote the book A Bridge Too Many, which is a story of his tales in the army. In bolt action, uh, Frost can be taken as a veteran major in your army and costs 195 points. He has two special rules, the first being leader of men. Frost's morale bonus is 4 plus and the abilities range he has is now increased to 12 inches. Hold until relieved. All British veteran and artillery units within Frost's morale bonus range get the stubborn rule added. If forced to check morale when, uh, when reduced to half strength they will always test at full morale value ignoring all pins. If the unit already has this rule it can now re-roll it. There we go guys, try to keep it a bit more short and sweet. Uh, yeah, lovely figure by Warlord Games. And uh, yeah, one of the reasons I started doing the Airborne list, to be honest. One of the many, many reasons, but old Tony Hopkins playing him, the Welsh connection. So yeah, um, let me know, do you want a... Another history video, because I've got Royal Urquhart was next on the slot. But if you want something else, something a little less uh, heavy, 
drop me a comment down below. But other than that, I'll uh, see you all next week. Have a good time.